Now the time is 5.39. I remembered my rain jacket this morning, which I did not have with me yesterday and regret it. Yeah, that's good. I've learned living here in Central Georgia to always keep the umbrella in the back of the car because there's been many a day, Alex, when I've gotten yes. caught in these crazy storms. That's right, especially that certain time of the year from January 1st to December 31st. When yeah. yeah, that whole time. <laughs> There's no telling what's going to happen, right? No, so we got low clouds this morning and a lot of humidity across central Georgia. No secret about it. You're going to walk outside and notice both of those. There's a live look over downtown. You can see the low clouds right there. Even fog in a handful of spots. Temperatures this morning in the 60s and in the 70s across central Georgia. There we go. 71 in Macon, 73 in Warner Robins. The dew points, they are also in the 70s this morning. That is making for a very sticky morning across central Georgia. Visibility issues in just a couple of spots down to a mile of visibility there in Thomaston, 4.4 miles in Forsyth, 8 miles in Macon, and 9.7 miles of visibility in Gordon this morning. Also not completely dry down to the south. That's going to be really southern Wheeler and Montgomery counties now. A quick heavy downpour moving towards the Vidalia area. Otherwise, that's about it for central Georgia this morning. Now in the past 24 hours, though, seen over two inches of rain, especially parts of Crawford County, Peach, and Houston counties. Over the past five days, though, just a ton of rainfall in several spots. Over five inches of rain. That's going to be southeastern parts of Peach County, close to an inch in Cochrane, over two inches in the Macon area, over three inches there in parts of Jones County, but especially down to the south. So Crisp County, Wilcox, and Telfair counties, over two to three inches of rain. You zoom this out, look across southern Alabama and the Florida Panhandle, many spots over six inches of rain there in the pink over the past five days. Once you get into the whites and around the Mobile and Pensacola area, over a foot of rain. In fact, a flash flood emergency yesterday in parts of that area. Now today we've got a front on our doorstep about to push its way through. We're really not going to feel the effect from the front, but we are going to still look at the possibility. In fact, likelihood of showers and storms this afternoon across central Georgia, beginning right around that noon hour and continuing later into the afternoon. Maybe one or two of those on the stronger side, but no organized threat for severe weather today. There we go into the evening hours. A couple of those lasting through the evening hours, waking up mostly dry tomorrow morning on into tomorrow afternoon. Much of the same. In fact, maybe just a slightly better chance of rain tomorrow afternoon. Again, a storm or two mixed in as well. Then we get into Thursday. There's 6 a.m. there, waking up already with some activity on the radar, and then through the afternoon and evening hours, much of the same. So it's been a cool June so far. 12 below average days, 6 above average days, including yesterday of being a below average day with a high temperature of only 80 degrees. Now, Yesterday, Tropical Storm Brett was also named in the Atlantic Ocean. Winds of 40 miles an hour continuing to move towards the west now at about 17 miles an hour. The plan is for it to become a Category 1 hurricane later in the week, but then enter the Caribbean as a tropical storm by the time we get to the weekend. Where it goes from there, we're continuing to monitor the details on. And of course, we'll have the latest for you here on 13 WMAZ. But as of now, not really too concerned about Brett and its impacts on, or any potential impacts, I should say, on the United States. But again, that could all change. We'll watch all the details here. 85. The high temperature today is 70% chance of rain. 82 tomorrow for the first day of summer. An 80% chance of rain there. Well, that rain chance is going to last through the end of the week. Uh, down to 60% by Friday, 40% on Saturday, 30% on Sunday. I do think if you're looking for outdoor plans, Sunday probably the better day.